Hello Aries, it's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 28th through September 4th, 2017. Love reading. The cards, ooh, seems like some of you guys were being quick to the gun when it comes to um, sleeping with people this week. Um, the cards I'm using to day are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Alright, what is this? So, whatever the situation is, it has become a burden. So, I feel like somebody in this situation before we actually read the cards, somebody slept with somebody and it was just like a boom all of a sudden thing and now it's becoming a burden. Okay? So, um, thank everybody for everything. And let's get this show on the road. I don't know what I said already. Let's go. All right. What's going on with Aries? Aries, Aries. What's going on with Aries? Love reading. August 28th through September 9th, 2017. Aries, love reading. August 28th through September 9th, 2017. So we're dealing with a very masculine, masculine. All right, so we're dealing with a very um, masculine, arrogant person. That's probably what masculine came out because I wanted to say arrogant, a very arrogant person that thinks they everything belongs to them. Okay, and it seems like I'm gonna just read it as it is. It could be vice versa because it could be a, a it's a general reading, but. It seems like this arrogant person is trying to get somebody to make a sacrifice. So it seems like, Aries, you are trying to make somebody sacrifice something. Mm. So it seems like you're trying to make somebody go off. Like not go on a trip. Like you better not go kind of thing. Like if you go, I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Or it seems like. You're trying to make somebody move. It's either you're trying to make somebody move in with you, move out of your place, or not go on a trip. Okay? Aries, Aries, Aries. Loving 828 through 9 for 2017. Love reading. Okay. So these could be close friends. To you, or maybe this could be some kind of business trip that you're going on. Okay, or you're trying to get this person to sacrifice some childhood friends. Like you don't need to go anywhere with them. You know, you're trying to make them give up their friends. Mm. Mm -mm. Give up their friends. Give up their job. Okay, so. What, whatever reason you're trying to get them to stop dealing with these people is, is is scary to you. It's not just because you're being arrogant. It's because you're scared of the consequences that can have on this trip. The things that can happen. Yeah, it seems like you might be paranoid about the negative possibilities. Okay. Wow. So you don't think um, your partner is interested in, in you anymore. And this person may not be. They're not sexually attracted to you. And that's another reason why you don't trust them on this trip with these people. Because you feel like they're going to get them to do something crazy. That's what I'm feeling like now. Okay. What are these vivid dreams about? Vivid dreams for the Aries. Aries, Aries, 824. Or this could be being done to you. 824. 824. No, 828 through 9 for 2017. Oh, you got two. Oh, and one of it is all over the place. Oh, this one really wanted to come out too. So whatever the situation is, you guys may have children together. Oh, or you, you just really love the relationship, but it's not going in too well. And I already can tell you why. I mean, this ain't in the cards, but don't nobody like a je jealous person. And it seems like you jealous and and you in your head. You making yourself believe this person doesn't like you unless they like straight up told you this. 
Okay, one more, and then we're going to do the Cleo cards right out the book. Okay. Oh, yeah, so they might be leaving you because your insecurities. Or they could just be leaving you to go on this trip, all right? All right, but dang, people are talking about the situation behind your back. So I, I, you guys may have some friends together, or you guys could possibly work in the same place and everybody knows the situation, okay? So, wow. So, seems like somebody in this situation is coming out of heartbreak, um, dealing with a, a loss from the past, you know? Somebody's healing from some kind of loss. Yeah, and that would cause the the insecurities that you're placing on this person. Okay, so I don't know if it was with this person or ex, but it's ruining the situation. But if this person wants to go on a trip or whatever they're going to do, they're going to do it anyway. So it's basically like get out of your head and let it go. Relax. All right, what's going on with the Aries? Ooh. Okay, so you're going to get some kind of message in the mail about your hard work. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think maybe they're going to tell you. Yeah, I think they might end, end up trying to tell you how um, they feel about you doing the things that you're doing. I don't know. I heard stalking. Okay, so maybe some of you are stalking. Fighting, trying to argue, you know, you can't make somebody do something they don't want to do. All right, what's going on with the Aries, 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 Aries? Love reading, 8, 28 through 9, 4, 2017. Aries, love reading, Aries, love reading. Mm-hmm, that go to trip. It's, you're trying so hard to be patient, but you don't want them to go. Mm. But, you know... Aries can only try to be patient for so long. There it is again. That trip. There's something going on with the trip, Aries. Oops, sorry. I am so sorry. So that's too many cards. I'm not going to do that. Mm. Ooh. So the ex might be on this trip. That's probably why you're freaking out. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, the ex is going to be at some kind of party. That's why they like, nope. Or you cheated on them in the past with your ex. Or they cheated on you. Okay. Oh. Okay, so in the past, somebody has um tried to stop an ending. But they had too many choices. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> All right, let's read these straight out the book. Mm -mm. All right, what's going on? So we got the Knight of Stabs first. Knight, Knight, Knight. And it's reverse. Severing of connections, emotional and physical separation. So this person is going to leave no matter what. And I feel like once they leave, you're going to cut your feelings off for them. It's like a light switch. It's on and it's off. Okay, so now we have the death card reverse. Lack of direction and desire to remain in a bad situation. So it's like after this um, breakup, you just stuck around there. You just stuck around because you just like, okay, we can make this thing work. Now it's like you don't know what to do. Like I don't know what to do. And then here you is being all common sensitive and now they about to go on another trip with their ex or that they ex might be there all right so now we got the seven of cups it says be very careful with making mistakes a good choice is hidden between many other bad choices don't fool yourself into unrealistic dreams take the best and and most solid choice so it's like yeah you can sit here and still try to be with this person or you can just go find somebody else you can try to make this work but i mean one time uh, okay understandable but twice i don't know i don't know if i do twice but that's just me 
All right, so we got the Queen of Cups in the future. Um, a very strong but loving person, very responsible and caring individual. You can trust what this person says is true. Okay, so it's basically like, I feel like somebody might come in and try to help you uh, make your choice. I feel like you're just sitting there waiting, just like trying to be understanding. But it's like, I don't know, you're going to have to make a choice. But, you now we got the page of staffs. All right, a good person, sometimes egotistic. Someone may bring you important news. Listen to it. A truthful person. Okay. I don't know if something's wrong with my brain. Yes, it is. I read the wrong one. Okay, so. Queen of Cups says, indicates a person or situation where devotion and love are present. Maybe, may indicate the presence of paranormal abilities. So I feel like, yeah, it's a situation where you already know what's going to happen. So we're going to go back to the first read and you don't want to go, want them to go because you already know what's going to happen. So you're like, I don't know if I should uh, let you go there, but it's just like, you know, they're going to they're gonna do what they want to do. And then once you they go, it's just going to be gone. You're going to cut them off. They're going to cut, cut you off. I don't know what I read before, but... That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a wonderful week. Oops.